What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be showing how to uh, anchor, sand anchor your boat. So what I have here is a 19 footer and what I'm be using is this right here, stainless steel. It's made by sand anchor and this uh, rope here it goes, it stretches from 15 to 20 feet and this is going to be driven into the sand using this guy and it's going to be attached to the back of the boat and it's going to be snug so the boat basically pulls itself to the shore and my front anchor is going to make sure that the boat stays straight out into the open. So this is the things you guys will need. I'll leave the links in, in, in below the video. So this guy made by, uh, made by these guys, same anchor. Strongly recommend them. Pretty good. They make several different ones, plastic, uh, lime green, and this stainless steel. I went with stainless steel just because I feel like it's be more durable. Now another thing you'd need is basically an anchor. And the Yamaha, this is a Yamaha boat, Yamaha makes a specific anchor for a 19-footer boat. And uh, it's about 120 bucks. Um, comes with the anchor, comes with the chain, and comes with 100 feet of rope. And it's stored in this compartment here on my particular boat it's a pretty good price uh, for this kind of anchor so basically the way this would work is you drop this anchor the chain will lay at the bottom of the surface and once it's pulling this will dig itself into mud sand seaweed It'll keep the boat straight. So, and then you have 100 feet of rope in here. So let's do this. Basically, what you want to do is figure out how deep you are, right? So you want to drop the anchor approximately 20 feet uh, deep, and being so we're being uh, a little closer than what we are now. To the shore and the reason for it is once you're done with whatever you're doing you're getting on the boat and you can pull yourself out from the shore into deeper waters and start to motor and just head out so I'll be doing all this stuff by myself obviously I have a cameraman but he's just gonna be here recording so let's do it So I have a, a depth finder that's showing 29 feet right now uh, on my depth finder. So that's a bit, it's a bit uh, too deep in my opinion. Because obviously we have 100 feet of rope and it's a pretty calm water. So what I'm doing is I'm positioning myself. I want to park basically in a particular spot over there by those logs. So that's where we want to park. We're at 19 feet. It is a river, so there is a current here.
what I'm doing here is I'm securing the rope so I don't lose the rope. So the front anchor I'm going to readjust once I secure this, basically hook it to one of the hooks. Like I said, this is a 15 foot rope, but it stretches all the way to 15. Uh, you know some slack I would say it's about maybe eight pounds It's a plenty, it's not gonna go anywhere. Once you have that secured, you go ahead and adjust the front. is actually quite simple the main thing is you want to make sure that it's has good tension and once you have good tension on it you basically secure it just like this and go under over That's pretty much it. And if you want to readjust it, you could obviously loosen it up, readjust the boat. And this way, this way basically the boat stands parallel with the beach. Um, obviously it's better if two people are doing it. You know, one person's backing it up. The other one does all this rope. Drops the anchor, secures the anchor, secures the back. Easy peasy.